Yeah. Hi, my friends. Good morning. From today, I'm going to explain you about Darakbang. The Bible portion here is Act 1-1-1-3-1-8. In my former book, Theopolis, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. 1-3. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. 1-8. After he said that he was taken up before their very eyes, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. 138. Tarakbang. What is the Tarakbang? We are talking about the Tarakbang Bible study, Tarakbang group Bible study. Darakbang is, in Korean language, is upper room. Upper room. So, it's from uh, Mark's upper room. Mark's upper room. So, in Korean, Mark's, Mark Darakbang. That means Mark's upper room. So, today, my topic is about what is Darakbang group Bible study. It's very important. Number one, it is biblical, biblical uh, evangelism. In the beginning, after Jesus uh, resurrected and he gathered the disciples to the Mount of Olive and he spoke about the kingdom of God for 40 days. After that, he ascended to heaven and the disciples gathered in Mark's upper room. And from there, the early ch church started. Mark's upper room, Darakbang. So, if we focus on this Darakbang group Bible study, we can find out biblical evangelism. Now, nowadays, there are many uh, evangelism strategies are going on. But Darakbang group Bible study is only biblical evangelism method. It's not simple Bible study, but it's focusing on evangelism. Bible study gives you many uh, biblical understanding. But many times people learn so many things, and, but they cannot do anything. They know so many things, but they do not go forward. Darakbang Group Bible Study focuses on evangelism. Why? Jesus said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witness in Jerusalem, all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world. 120 people who were weak, who had no power, who had no uh, high education, no uh, financial power, conquered all the world. They conquered Rome with the gospel. Through Darakbang group study. What does that mean? They, had, they could not gather in one church. They were persecuted. So they gathered in their home. They focused on evangelism. So the number, the believer's number grew dramatically. 
Uh, so this is the only way of evangelism. Evangelism and uh, conquering reason. They conquered their reason through Darakbang Bible study group. So, what Bible say? The number, disciple number grew quickly through this Darakbang uh, Bible study. And this we call, it is scattered church. Church. What does that mean? On Sunday, people gather in the church. But at that time, the only official church was Jerusalem church. Jerusalem uh, temple. But these people could not go there. So they were scattered in their home. So we call it scattered church. So, Bible say, whether they gather in the temple court or house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming that good news that Jesus was the Christ. So it, it became scattered the church because they were persecuted. They were not allowed to gather in the temple court officially. But when they go silently, uh, secretly to the temple court, they taught, they proclaimed that Jesus was the Christ. So he, through this, they uh, broke down, broke the forces of darkness. When they preach the gospel, the forces of darkness, that means the things uh, customed by the Jewish religion or tradition or custom or through the laws and the things, legalism, the religion, you know, all the traditional authority, the forces of darkness were working. So when they gathered together in Mark's upper room and the house, house, they broke forces of darkness by using the name of Jesus Christ. Also, it became the best field, field for discipleship. Through Tarakbang group Bible study, they raised disciples. Even uh, in uh, Damascus, there was a disciple, Anania. No? Reason by reason, disciples were there. And in, in their home, they gathered the Darakbang. In the Darakbang, they raised other people as disciples. Also, this become the life turning field, you know. Those people uh, in the early church time, they never heard the gospel, true gospel. 
even though Son of God in the form of human being came to this world and he did work of Christ, most of people never understood. They never heard the good news. But his name was Jesus and he did work of Christ. So they come to hear that Jesus was the Christ. Jesus is the Christ. That is the gospel. When they heard the gospel, their life changed. For example, Saul turned to Paul. When he met Jesus personally, his life changed. And wherever he go, he started Darakbang. So let's find out the content, content, meaning of Darakbang. As Jesus' life, this is all, all about Jesus' life movement. What does that mean? Salvation. Tarakpan group Bible study is not for adding more and more biblical knowledge. It gives salvation. The life of Jesus Christ, life of God, eternal life is given. To those who believe in his name, to those who receive him, he gave the right, right to become children of God. It's a salvation. Life, life. Jesus' life movement was going on. Whoever believes in him who sent me and hears my words and believe, he will not be perished, but he has crossed over death to life. He has eternal life. From death to, he moved from death to life. So it's all about Acceptance. Accepting Christ. With your mouth, confess. With your heart, believe that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the Christ. Then you are saved. It's all about acceptance. When you accept Christ as your Lord, and Savior, you are saved. You become child of God. So it becomes the answer to your past, present, and future. Your sin and curse were solved. You came out from the hand of Satan. You are set free from the curse of Satan, death, and sin. Now, when you accept Christ, you become a child of God. And your future is guaranteed. When you accept Christ, Holy Spirit comes in you, and the angels are mobilized to help you. The forces of Satan, deceiver, our enemy, got crumbled down. So kingdom of God is coming upon you. When you immediately, when you accept Christ, kingdom of God is coming upon you. If I drive out demons by the Holy Spirit, kingdom of God is already established in you. So your future is guaranteed. You don't need to try to go to heaven. But here in this world, you Accept Christ, you become a child of God, you enjoy the identity and authority of child of God. Then naturally, you will go to heaven. So this is all about the restoration of Genesis 1.27. Your identity, who you are, you are child of God, is 
restored. Number two, it's about Jesus' power. It's about Genesis 128. You restore the authority of children of God. Now you enjoy the power, power of Jesus. Enjoy. In this world, Jesus said, I have authority, all authority in heaven and on earth. Go to all nations and make them disciples. I will be with you always to the very end of age. So you will receive power. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witness. You enjoy heavenly authority. Also you enjoy authority in, on the earth. I will give, I have given you authority to trample on snake and scorpion, to overcome all the power of enemies. Nothing will harm you. You have authority in this world. The angels are mobilized to help you. And you will enjoy the eternal fruit. This is eternal fruit. You are my crown, my joy, and my crown. You will find out the purpose of your life in this Tarakbang Bible study. Purpose of life. Bible study is not for adding you more and more knowledge. God's eyes are on this tarakbang. God's eyes. God's eyes are on you. When you gather in tarakbang group Bible study, God's eyes are on you. Why? You are in the most important place. In the most important time, God's focus is on you. Only through the biblical evangelism, you can be a witness to Jesus Christ. So when you gather in Mark's upper room, Mark Darakbang group Bible study, God's eyes are on you. God's interest is on you. God's, the biggest concern is on those who understand the true gospel and will complete, accomplish God's wish, God's desire. So you are the very one who will fulfill God's desire in this age. God's eyes on you. And also, in the Tarakbang Bible study, you can enjoy all answer. All answer. Look at this. You have authorities in heaven. All authorities on earth. You enjoy all answer. This is the promise of Jesus Christ. We work for God. And Jesus promised, I will give you all the answer. Finally, this is the, the best way of world evangelism.
See, nowadays, coronavirus is going on every day. Many people are locked down in, in their home. They cannot go out. They cannot have a social life. Company closed down. Churches closed down. You know, you cannot have a public meeting. Then what shall you do? Through the online, at home, we have a Tarakbang Bible study group, and we pray together. And this is the, the God's way. In the time of persecution, that was the early church. People gathered house to house. Wherever they go, they gather together in the name of Jesus, and then they broke down forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. And then they meditate on the word of God, held on to the covenant of God, and God showed the way how to evangelize other people. So 120 weakless people, 120 powerless people conquered Rome, conquered the world. So this is a Tarakbang Bible study. So from today on, I will explain this, this book. If you want to know more about this, then I will guide you how to get the things. Let's pray. Father, thank you for starting explaining the Tarakbang group Bible study. Through this small movement, God, you allowed the early church member conquer the whole room, whole the world. So we want to follow the biblical method of evangelism. Through this teaching, we want to know the Bible more and more, and we want to be, become witnesses to Jesus Christ. That is the only way that satisfies God's your desire. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.